A crucial quadrilateral meeting, meanwhile, has taken place during the Indian External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar's visit to Israel. The foreign ministers of U.S., India, Israel and the UAE sat down virtually. It has been decided that an international forum needs to be set up for economic cooperation, there will be more focus on infrastructure, transport and maritime security. And lastly, there will be an in-person meeting of all the foreign ministers at the Dubai Expo 2020. Following the meeting, S. J. Shankar called it a fruitful meeting. The talks focused on economic growth and global issues. On the same lines, his U.S. counterpart, Anthony Blinken, described Israel, the UAE and India as three of the most strategic partners. Expanding economic and political collaboration was also given special emphasis. This is a meeting like no other. Relations between the four countries are diverse, to say the least. Both India and Israel are allies of America. Meanwhile, Israel and the UAE normalized ties just over a year ago. It has been said that Iran was also briefly discussed. While both U.S. and Israel have talked tough on the West Asian country, Tehran and New Delhi enjoy good ties with each other. And joining us on the broadcast is our correspondent Jody Cohen, who has been tracking uh, those uh, engagements very closely. Jody, uh, yet again a pack today for the Indian External Affairs Minister. Uh, take us through what, apart from the issues that have been highlighted by us, uh, were discussed, uh, what was discussed as a part of that uh, quadrilateral meeting. Uh, it has been uh, uh, talked about as a very significant meeting when it comes to taking forward the relationship between all these four countries. Absolutely. So, as you said, this is really um, the first of its kind, a meeting involving Israel, India, the UAE and the US. We saw back in May that there was a trilateral meeting between Israel, India and the UAE. And in fact, Israel estimated at the time that the um, opportunity really for the three countries by 2030 could be as much as $110 billion in trade. So trade certainly a huge opportunity for the three countries and now also, of course, the United States as well, getting involved too. But this really wasn't just about trade. This was about the big geopolitical issues. Now, you mentioned that they're going to be an international forum set up for economic cooperation, working on infrastructure, digital infrastructure, transport, maritime security, trade and other joint projects. Now, reading between the lines, obviously, there's going to be a huge focus on trade between the countries. But it also looks as though there's going to be a focus on China, on Iran, on digital security and on counter-terrorism issues. And each minister is going to be appointing senior level professionals to a joint working group that will formulate options for cooperation in all of these areas. So a very significant meeting on the multi multilateral front. Also very significant meetings during Minister Jay Schenker's visit to Israel on the bilateral front. He's already met with alternate Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Yair Lapid. Today he's met with Knesset Speaker Mickey Levy. Tomorrow he's going to be meeting with President Herzog. He's had a very, very busy schedule here indeed. And we will come back to you as and when we have further updates. Uh, thanks very much for now. Jody Cohen getting us those updates uh, from Israel. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.